Welcome to the Crate Kids CB2 and Crate and Barrel Outlet in Chambly, Georgia. It is all furniture. <laughs> There's no small items here like their kitchenware or home decor pieces. They don't have any of that here. This is all furniture. So living room, dining room, bedroom, kitchen, um, furniture, like bar stools and things like that. That's what they have here. Um, everything is marked down. Um, so you'll see some things have a red price, but everything is anywhere from 40 to 60% off the lowest ticketed price. And you'll see signs all over, all over the store in the different sections because they have things broken up like the, all the sofas are together, all the coffee tables are together, all the bedroom furniture, nightstands, dressers. Um, they have outdoor furniture towards the back and desks for your office, but everything in the store is marked down 40 to 60% off the lowest ticketed price. So it's not on the sticker. So you just have to do the math um, if you find something. But if you're in the market for a couch um, or like a large piece of furniture, I would definitely say come here and check it out. A lot of the stuff um, is not in the worst shape. Um, obviously like lighter furniture, like this white couch um, has like visible stains on it. Um, some are, you know, worse than others. Um, like this uh, boucle ottoman was in pretty good shape. Um, and then you have like these media cabinets in this section um, that are really nice. This piece actually was recommended by my design consultant from Crate and Barrel. And I'll give you a little tip on that at the end. Um, but you can see here, the media cabinets are 40% off the lowest ticketed price. And you'll see the signs throughout the store and the different sections. So this is like the outdoor section. These are more media cabinets. Then they've got desks towards the back here and shelving units. And then they have this really cute bar um, cabinet. Uh, you can use it like a bar cabinet or like maybe for liquor, or you could do like wine or a combination of both. If I had the space for it, I would definitely get it. It's so cute. It has a mirror in the back. I'm about to show you in a minute. But it's a really cute piece. I've seen it in the Crate and Barrel store, so I was quite surprised to see it here. But I think it's really cute. Look at it. Spaces for your bottles. Put nice glassware on the shelf. It's really cute. And then you hide it away when it, you know, when you're not entertaining. They have these different like shelves. Not sure what you use those for, maybe like a pantry or open shelving in your kitchen if you have the space. And they had some cute outdoor furniture. Again, everything is marked down. So like when I was walking around and looking at the prices, I was like some of the prices were <laughs> kind of jarring, but you have to remember that, yes, everything is marked down additionally off of the lowest ticketed price. Uh, so they have bar stools here, really cute ones. I love these gray ones with the gold at the bottom, of course, because I love gold. They were $5.99 a piece, but again, remember, anywhere from 40 to 60% off the lowest ticketed price. So you're not paying that. Those were cute too. I love this uh, ghost bar stool. It's really cute. Um, it was a little wobbly, but I think it can be fixed as, you know, if you really want it. These wicker ones are really cute, but whew, they're like $1,200. <laughs> but they would look really cute at like an outdoor bar. And I've seen these dining chairs. They're so cute. <clears throat> Again, marked down as well. Then they had a bunch of tables laid leans up against the back wall because the pedestals are separate. These were sold already, but I thought the, the color of that bar stool was really cute. Fortunately, this it wasn't packed this day. <laughs> it 
So there wasn't really a lot of people in here. They had some really pretty dining room chairs. And I overheard one of the salespeople telling a customer that they should always ask, or people should always ask if they have more items in the back because sometimes they don't have the space to put every single piece of item that they have. So if they have like 10 of the same dining chair, they'll put one on the floor. This boucle bed was really pretty. It was like $2,000, but again, um, I believe the bedding, the beds were 60% off. So it had the headboard, footboard, and rails. And these were some more dining chairs. And look at these blue ones. So pretty. Love the color on them. They had a very good variety, though. I will say that. And um, I would even say, like, if you were buying dining chairs or, like, items where you needed more than one, even if you bought two, only found two of something in the store and you needed two more, Overall, you're still saving because you bought two at a lower price and you're buying two at full price. But I spotted this uh, hammered coffee table. And if you follow Candace Halligan on YouTube, she has this in her living room. Really pretty. Um, it's $1,200 in here, but again, marked down. It was slightly damaged, but I think not really that noticeable or it could be fixed. But then again, I couldn't really see the other side of it, but it didn't look to be too, too damaged but still not a bad price. And they had a lot of coffee tables, a lot of wooden ones. And some had dings and stuff. You might be able to fill it in with like wood filler or something, but then I noticed these beds on the back wall. And this bed, actually, my daughter um, ordered it for her new apartment. And I was so shocked to see it in here because I'm like, she literally just got this this bed. And they were um, $15.99 and then marked down 60%. So you're paying uh, less than $800 probably after tax and maybe like a little small delivery fee unless you can take it yourself. But, you know, have it professionally cleaned and I think it's good as new. They definitely had a lot of beds. It's just hard to picture because they're all disassembled and leaning up against the walls. Uh, they also had a lot of nightstands. Those are 50% off the lowest ticketed price. Some really cute ones. I like that. Um, clear one there, six ninety nine, fifty percent off, so about three fifty. Lots of dressers. Didn't really look in the dresser area. Lots of chests as well. Then they had like occasional chairs here, and you'll see this one in front. Look how dirty it is. This actually matches my gather couch that I have, but they wanted eight seventy five for it. Um, and then obviously mark down, but I would, I would try to like bargain with them to see if you can get even more. I mean, something like that was like really, really dirty. I would definitely like bargain for more of a percentage, like be like, Hey, can you do 75% off? Cause I mean, their ultimate goal is to get rid of this stuff. They don't want to keep it in here. They had a lot of bookshelves. I didn't really look at those, but they definitely had a lot of sofas, a lot of sectionals like this sectional. It's really good price. It's a nice leather couch. Again, these are marked down. <laughs> it's 40 to 60% off the lowest ticketed price. I know I had to keep reminding myself as I was looking at things. So I'm like, is this an outlet? This is high. <laughs> but I'm like, no, it's still another 40 to 60% off. I really like this lamp though. It's really, really pretty. This coffee table is really nice, but it was, oof. even when you take the percentage off, it was like, wow, that's still kind of high. But they had a very good selection, so I would definitely say it's worth the trip if you're in the mar on the market for a new couch or dining table or um, any piece of like large furniture. I would definitely check them out and see what they have um, because not everything is damaged. Or not everything is stained. It's just somebody got it and they were like, mm, nope, that's not what I wanted. You messed up. So you got to take it back. Because I know when you order furniture from Crate and Barrel and it's, you know, special order, they there's no returns on those. So the only way they'll take it back is if they made a mistake. Um, so, yeah. Here's their promotions for the day. And I know it changes day to day. Some things get marked down more than others on certain days. So it's definitely worth a trip.
Well, gonna head home. So yeah, they had mostly furniture items. Not really like the small decorative pieces that I was looking for. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they had mostly furniture items, not really the decorative pieces that I was looking for. Kind of stinks, but it is what it is. You can find things on their website still. Um, yeah, some of the prices were, whew, like, am I in an outlet or not? But what you gotta remember is Crate and Barrel, so those prices are probably well, you know they're they're marked down and then discounted on top of that so if you're really looking to like invest in a piece and or like even like dining chairs and you buy two here and two in the store you're still saving overall but um i'm about to head home now put these groceries away and uh yeah it's like 2 30. enjoy the rest of the day because it is beautiful out all right i'll see you guys when i get home hi this is my little trader joe's haul i got these steamed pork and ginger soup dumplings her good thing so grabbed a couple of boxes of those some turkey burgers they had this wine out front south african wine mbali um chenin blanc um and it said it had like a bunch of fruity notes in it so i figured we'd try that i got some scallion pancakes or green onion pancakes some kung pao chicken shiitake mushroom chicken some pot stickers hearts of palm pasta let me know if you guys have ever tried this but I'm trying to find some like pasta alternatives um, some instant oatmeal, protein, cinnamon, and then just a couple of packs of chicken breast. Um, so I'm going to put all this away, straighten up the kitchen a little bit. It's already clean and straighten up the living room as well. That's already clean, but I just want to wipe the glass, the mirror, and the coffee table.
I'm an old school man I only wanna fall in love once With an old school girl Old school girl Old school girl When I know, I'll know Hand in hand like left, right, left, right, oh Bonnie and Clyde You can have whatever you like When it's you and I can have the world See us coming like left, right, left, right, all. Oh. Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Can we get comfortable? I don't really like going out It makes me uncomfortable Comfortable, yeah We could be chilling on the sofa Or cooking in the kitchen like left, right, left, right, oh, oh. Are you the same? Are you the same? The same. Are you the same? When you're touching my body, go. When you're touching my body, go. I want it. I need it. I'm on it. Morning, are you the same? 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 Like left, right, left, right, oh, oh Are you the same? Are you the 
say Are you the same? Are you the same? When you're touching my body, go When you're touching my body, go I want it I need it And I'm on it I'm on it Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? So this is the current state of the bedroom. I didn't make up the bed today because I knew that I was going to be changing my sheets out. So when I woke up this morning, I didn't make up the bed like I normally would. So we are going to completely change this room around. Um, I'm sorry, not change it around, but just add more decor because I had nothing on the nightstands. And as you can see, I've kind of already added a couple of other things that I purchased from Target um, but there is more to come like I'm, I'm missing the stems for the vases and I also want to put curtains in this room So as you can see I have like a huge window. So I want to add 
just one single bar and then maybe like two panels on each side of some type of curtain. But um, let me show you what I've got for the bedroom thus far. You've already seen these throw pillows, but I did purchase these vases, which is the same one that I showed you earlier that's in my kitchen. And I also purchased um, the same stems as well for each side. And then I bought some more of this. What is this from? This is from Hearth and Hand. It is the Willow Candle. I love this candle. It smells so good. It is pricey, but it's what, $19.99 for it. Um, but it smells so good. It even smells without you lighting it. That's a good candle when you can smell it before it's even lit. Um, I also got this book. It's um, the Joanna Gaines Homebody book. It does come with a cover, but I took it off. Um, and it has this nice gray um, book cover to it. So yeah, I was kind of just like playing around with different things. Um, if you saw my post on YouTube, you would have seen it kind of more dressed. And I will dress one side just to give you guys a little bit more of an idea. Um, but yeah, this is the dresser right now. My boyfriend moved his Xbox in here, which is not part of the aesthetic, but... <sighs> <laughs> if anybody understands my pain <laughs> um but i just have our perfume and cologne stands up here i don't think much is gonna change over here um i might get a different tray this used to be somewhere else in one of my old apartments and i really like it it's um like a rose gold i'm not sure if that's picking up on camera but it's like a rose gold leaf and i kind of just use it as a catch-all for things jewelry mostly and sunglasses and little miscellaneous stuff um but yeah i'm not sure what i'm doing with this yet um and then i also have this ikea vase back here with some random stems in it that i don't remember where i got them from and i didn't know where to put it so it's sitting here and i don't know we'll play around today and just you know try all the things and see what we like so um, let me get into the other piece or the other important item that I got for my bed um, and I want to show you guys I'm excited all right so I did get a new duvet cover and new sheets from my bed and they are from Brooklinen not sponsored yet <laughs> um, but I am a big What's the word I'm looking for? Advocate for investing in where you lay your head at. I will spend the money on sheets. I will spend the money on pillows if I'm going to get a good night's sleep. Because if anybody knows me, they know that I like my sleep. So, of course, on TikTok and if you follow any major influencers, they push this brand. So I was like, I'm going to try it. Because I've tried Casa Luna, and Casa Luna and Target is not cheap, okay? It's not. For a nice pair of sheets, Casa Luna, going to run you. For a queen-size bed, $80. If you got a king-size bed, lower. Um, but yeah, so I was like, I'm going to try these. I use Kyra's discount code, so if you want some money off, just pick an influencer. Go in their description box. They got a code. You can save a little bit of coin, so it won't hurt your pockets too much. They even do Afterpay and I think Klarna and all of that. So, um, yeah, so let's get into it. So they gave me a recyclable bag. I don't know why a company that sells bedding would give you a recyclable bag, but hey, thank you. <laughs> um, laundry care, so it, let's see what this is. Laundry care. Why do they give you some detergent? Different types of detergent. I'm assuming, okay, so one is Dream Clean, one is Herbal Clean, and one is Fragrance Free. And then they give you a fabric softener. So that's nice. That is very nice. They give you a little laundry care. What is this? Oh, pack of Okay, Brooklyn, and we've got everything you need to live 
your most comfortable life. Let me turn this TV down, y'all. This is rude. I was watching Dom, you know. I love Dom. She's another YouTube content creator. Okay, so this just looks like they're trying to sell you some more stuff. This talks about other things and what's in it. So let's get into it. So we got the, I got the Lux. Let me tell y'all what I got or what the name of it is. Mm. Okay, so it's the Lux duvet cover and pillowcases but it was like the and then the luxe core set so this was a bundle so it's basically a sheet set duvet cover and some extra pillowcases um so that is what i got and i got it in the color what do they call this warm gray so these are some pillowcases they give you two extra and then this is the core sheet set you get one flat sheet, one fitted sheet, and two pillowcases. So that's the core sheet set. And then the duvet cover, last but not least. So we're going to put these in the washing machine. Because you got to wash them first. You can't just take it out of the pack and put it on your bed. Ew. These are going through a factory, been touched by hands. Let's see how it feels. So I'm going to open up the duvet cover. All right. Let me, because I touched that box. Well, we don't wash them anyway. Let me um, open up the pillowcases and see how they feel. Because on here, the best sleep of your life. That's what everything said. Or the core sheet set says one flat sheet plus one fitted sheet plus two pillowcases equals the best sleep of your life. The duvet cover says one soft, smooth, ultra luxe duvet cover that'll make you fall in love with falling asleep. I'm already in love. Two soft, smooth, ultra, ultra luxe pillowcases basically made from the same stuff dreams are made of. Okay, Brooklyn, I'm going to be the judge of that. We going to see. Okay. Not the person who said they got to wash the sheets first, rubbing it up on their face. Lord, it's nice to the touch. Very soft. Okay, I love how the um, pillowcase has like you cover it, so your pillowcase is not exposed from the outside. So, all right, let me open up all of this stuff, and then we're gonna throw it in the washer. And while that's going. I'm just gonna tidy up my room because I do need to dust. Lord, if anybody, I need to look on TikTok because usually TikTok has the answers. But anybody comment down below. So as you saw, I have dark furniture in my bedroom and uh, dust. I could dust every day and still probably see dust. Okay, it, it makes no sense. So if anybody has a tip, on how to keep, I mean, I know it's not going to be dust free, but if anybody has a tip on how to prolong <laughs> dust appearing on your bedding, look at how neatly they have it all folded up. Let's see how they got this fitted sheet folded. Look, 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 look at y'all. This is how they had, this is the fitted sheet right here. The one that we just ball up. This is the fitted sheet. I just want to see. Oh, see, they do the same thing. See how they got it tucked in? The corners tucked into each other. They do the same thing. I like that. I like that. But I still ain't got patience. I be trying to get it as perfect as I can, and yeah, it just ends up in a ball. All right, so let me put this stuff in the washer and then we will get to straightening up the bedroom
tried so hard to let go Writing poetry and rhymes Just to get you off my mind It's either yes or it's no I'm not a yo-yo on a string That you flip and twist and swing I'm not gonna vibe tonight You don't get everything you like Cause I'm not ready If I'm not ready I'm not gonna vibe tonight You don't get everything you like Cause I'm not ready If I'm not ready Guessing your words Cause you choke right when I see That you're all I really need But if I'm honest, I know This whole thing has been a sign That I'm running out of time I'm not gonna lie tonight You don't get everything you like Cause I'm not ready If I'm not ready bedroom reveal well partial reveal since it's partially done still need to add some artwork and some curtains but I love what I've put together so far you'll see I removed some things from the dresser added a new tray that I picked up from home goods it's made of marble it is super heavy but really nice I love the color You would think that I purchased these Amazon throw pillows from Brooklinen because they match the duvet and the sheets perfectly. I also added a couple of new throw pillows that I got from Home Goods, as well as this monument statue that I picked up from Home Goods. It matches the tray, but it reminds me of Charlestown, Massachusetts, where my boyfriend is from, because there's a monument built just like that. But yeah, stay tuned for the bedroom series because I'll be adding some curtains and adding some artwork. And I hope you like what I've done so far. Hey, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Um, this is the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're subscribed at this point. Because if you've watched this far, you should be subscribed. So click that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. See what I got coming up. I'll give you a second. Yeah, about these nails down. All right. So hopefully you've done taking care of that business. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just hope that you guys all enjoyed um, my bedroom. Was it a makeover? 
I'll call it an upgrade. Yes, because it wasn't really... Before that, it wasn't... It was not. It just, it wasn't hitting. It wasn't giving, as the kids say it today. It wasn't giving. Let me not age myself. I'm part of the kids. I'm young. <laughs> um, but yeah, it wasn't giving before. It just, it wasn't. But now it is. Uh, I've slept on the sheets and no complaints. They are very comfortable. They feel good on the skin. Um, they don't make me hot at all. Like, sweating at night none of that um they feel they feel really good on the skin it was a very comfortable sleep i will say that they felt very good the um i feel like the the duvet cover because it's almost like the same material as the sheets it's very lightweight whereas the duvet cover i had from casa luna that was linen was very heavy so it almost gave like the feel of a weighted blanket so to speak um but this the the uh, Brooklyn in one is is a, a lot lighter and my duvet insert is very light um I, I tr I've tried different ones the Amazon ones the very puffy the feather filled it's a no for me uh I just like the down down comforter or down alternative I think it's called um but yeah it was a very comfortable sleep so Brooklyn in yeah yeah uh, I, I, I can close down on Brooklyn and, and, and all the hype that around them and why so many influencers, you know, obviously aside from getting a chick are co-signing Brooklyn. And, but for, from speaking from someone who paid for this, yes, I co-sign it. Yes. It's been a few days now and yeah, it's very comfortable. I washed it. I mean, it comes out very wrinkled. I will say that. And I took my regular old iron to it. Y'all saw, I didn't do the sheets, I just did the duvet and I did the sheets that showed and I did the pillows and it, it ironed very easily. Um, I don't know if I'll invest in a steamer. I mean, the fact that I make the bed every day is a feat in itself. So I don't know about steaming, but maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'll add that to my, my list of things that I do. But um, the sheets are very nice, I will say that. So I'm gonna add this video to a series for the bedroom decor, cause next up I want to um, pick out curtains. I'd like to pick out some artwork after we get the curtains and install them. And then after that, I plan to focus on the living room cause there's just some finishing touches in the living room. Um, for the most part, I have all the furniture in my house that I need. I don't really need much in the way of decor at all. But there's just like a couple finishing pieces that I want to do. So that'll be in the next videos coming up. But um, like I said, thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next vlog. Have a good week. Bye.